Hey guys, imagine a travel agent that never sleeps, understands your preferences, checks real-time weather, retrieves live flights, finds the best hotels for you, and stitches everything together step by step automatically. That's exactly what Agentic AI systems do. And today I'll show you how to build one using LangGraph. So let's get started. So if you're a developer, AI engineer, ML or a data engineer, or someone who wants to build uh, real world Agentic AI applications, this video is for you. And today uh, we are going beyond RAG. I have done enough of uh, RAG uh, videos and you can go check out my other videos. So, but today we are building a fully Agentic uh, AI system using LangGraph. Um, it's a framework uh, used to design advanced and uh, multi-step workflows and um, our use case today is a travel uh, planner AI agent, agentic system that actually works which uh, it, it, it will fetch the um, real-time weather and uh, hotels and it will suggest the best flights for you and uh, much more. So let's see that in act. So what are agentic AI systems? So it's very important to understand the meaning of agentic when it comes to agentic AI systems. So agentic, the word agentic refers to the ability of an AI system to act independently, autonomously, uh, take initiatives and help with uh, goal driven decision making instead of just merely responding to commands, right? Otherwise, it becomes just like another chatbot. So what makes an AI system agentic? It, it, it basically perceives information. Uh, it, it will know what the user intent is when there is a query comes in from a user and it thinks step by step. Since there is an LLM involved, it's, it can think step by step and it acts using tools. So there are tools connected. It can do tool calling, API calling whenever required and it it rates and self-corrects. It, it acts as a self-critic to its own responses so that uh, it will know that the response that it has created, is it, um, is it acceptable or not acceptable? And it, if it feels like it is not to the mark, it will iterate itself, you know, critics itself until the desired output is um, achieved. And it finally produces decisions or outputs um, using all these um, components that an agentic AI system has. So this is not a single prompt or, and uh, this is not even a rag. Uh, this is a system where each step is an agent node and LangGraph orchestrates how these agents talk to each other. So we will see how actually LangGraph works and what is LangGraph in the next part of this video. So let's understand what is LangGraph, right? Uh, as we all know, LangGraph is a part of LangChain. It's, it's a library within the LangChain ecosystem designed to build uh, multi-agent workflows and agent AI systems. Uh, so LangGraph basically provides a framework for defining, coordinating and executing multiple LLM agents uh, in a structured manner. So think that when there are multiple agents required for a complex uh, user query uh, when when you are solving a complex user query you need basically need multiple agents and to coordinate uh, all these AI agents you need a framework and that's what uh, LangChain basically helps you with and it basically simplifies the development uh, process by enabling the creation of cyclic graphs right which are basically essential for developing uh, agent runtimes. And with LangChain, uh, sorry, with LangGraph, we can easily build robust, uh, scalable and flexible multi-agent systems and workflows. And uh, you might say, hey, can we use uh, traditional approaches uh, like LangChain or Chains or um, basic prompt pipelines? Um, they are great, but they are kind of very linear. If you, if you use LangChain, the flow of data or the execution flow is kind of very linear. The data and the execution flows in in a linear way. You can't do dynamic tool calling or API calling there. So that's where uh, LangGraph basically shines. Uh, you know, it can do, LangGraph can do deterministic workflows, graph-based control flow, uh, state updates after each step, um, conditional routing uh, is also possible, right? Uh, it can do retry logic and tool calling is built in with uh, LangGraph, uh, which is not possible uh, if you just use LangChain. Um, and it is also LangGraph is also perfect for uh, production agent systems, right? You can you can use it in uh, for production systems, and uh, 
it's exactly what you need when you build when you want to build uh, powerful multi agent workflows and that's why langraph is one of the robust platforms or uh, sorry the libraries that most of the ai engineers or the companies are using today and uh, yeah as you can see in the image right there are different agents uh, events db agent weather agent restaurants agent uh, analysis agent so and there is online search agent so all these things uh, the coordination of all these agents can be easily handled using langraph right and um, yeah um, that's what uh, about langraph and uh, let's see uh, much more in the next part of this video hey guys so in this video we are building a travel agentic ai system with um, weather agent a cache agent we are using single store for cache a live search agent uh, we are using llm plus uh, structured extraction a uh, flight api agent uh, right a hotel recommendation agent and a flight ranking agent and um, at the end we are also using a langraph controller to orchestrate everything right so we'll connect them draw the graph and then run it so we'll see um, how this works practically using um, the tutorial that i'm going to show you so here is how our graph looks like uh, the workflow graph uh, we have the weather node that gets live weather and there is a cache node checks if we already have results in the single store database and uh, if cache hit uh, jump directly to recommendations if cache misses uh, run the llm live search agent and then flight api agent for real airline data then store note to save results and finally we'll get the hotel recommendations and then flight recommendations you uh, by the uh, two agents that is hotel recommendation agent and flight uh, recommendation agent so that's the beauty of uh, langraph uh, as you can see visually everything uh, is communicated uh, properly and the communication between these uh, agents can be handled properly using this uh, this uh, library called langraph so uh, let me um, let, let us go through the uh, code walkthrough in the next step so that i can show you how this whole um, uh, travel agent ki system basically works okay guys so let's start with the code walkthrough uh, but before the code walkthrough uh, since we are using single store as a cache uh, for cache and also to store uh, our results so you need to have single store account uh, so single store has a free shared tier uh, and you can use it for free until you finish your credits so go to singlestore.com uh, sign up and once you sign up and sign in this is the dashboard so it's very easy very uh, very uh, quick to understand and uh, you need to create your workspace once you land on your single store account and attach to your workspace create a database so we need to have a database to uh, for the cache system right uh, so I have already created my uh, database that is travel AG uh, attached to my workspace. So yeah, the first thing is to do create workspace and then uh, a database. And then next thing is uh, you can go to uh, this editor and basically go to a sing new SQL file. And once you go there, uh, now inside our database, we need to create two tables that is uh, accommodations and then uh, flights for cache. So what happens uh, when we run this application, if the results, so we are storing the results actually into our database. So if any other user uh, tries to uh, you know, extract the same uh, destination or ask the same query, the API call, you know, the open API call will not go and that, that's where we uh, make sure the cost is reduced for the whole system, right? It will not go again, fetch, uh, do the fresh uh, search. Uh, uh, else, it will directly go to our database and try to fetch the already present uh, results. And that's kind of very easy and that's how Cache basically works. And that's what we are doing. Uh, uh, so get your uh, workspace here and then attach to your uh, database and then run this and uh, you, you're creating a accommodation table and also you're creating a flights table and that's it about the single store and uh, like i discussed so let's go back to our uh, code here right so this is the um, complete code uh, 
um, and uh, uh, let me tell you this is my VS code and uh, here you can find the complete code of our travel agent uh, uh, agentic system and uh, yeah so state.py is how the entire agent system shares state across the nodes uh, and we have the uh, origin destination start date end date of where you want to travel uh, the bedrooms the maximum price the minimum rating uh, the flight flight uh, price maximum flight price weather summary everything is uh, present here and basically maintains the state of the whole system and we have the uh, main logic main code logic is uh, written in the main.py and uh, once you run this application it will ask you like what is the origin like from where you want to travel and what is the destination what is the start date end date uh, what type of bedrooms you want one bedroom two bedroom what is the maximum price minimum price and everything is binding together here and uh, i'm going to show you how this basically works and we have the graph.py basically and uh, this is the main application logic of the land graph uh, we have mentioned all the um, all the agents here right and uh, you can see all the agents mentioned here um, the weather agent search agent recommended recommendation agent flights agent cache agent right and uh, yeah again it's mentioned here uh, in a node format right and uh, yeah whether cache live search flight api store uh, recommend hotels recommend flights so that is the graph.py uh, and dot uh, uh, env is where you will add your credentials like opening api key um, single store host url user uh, password um, database name since our database is travel ag that's what i'm adding open ai chat model uh, i'm using gpt 4.1 and you can change that and uh, this is my uh, aviation stack api key you can go to aviation stack and then get your api key for free in the fresh uh, free shade tier and yeah this is our database schema um, uh, this is the cache.py how we are uh, you know uh, basically maintaining the cache check single store for cache uh, hotels and flights for this route if both exist it's a cache hit otherwise return none so instead of directly every time going to hitting the api keys um, our uh, system will go first check the uh, results present in the single store and then if they are present they they can easily retrieve instead of going directly and getting hitting the api every time that reduces the cost and this is the single store client api and uh, this is how we are storing store results.py this is how we are storing in a in this format in our single store and uh, vector search uh, there is nothing i mean you, we have left it blank and uh, these are the agents different agents uh, that we're using cache agent flight api agent uh, flight agent uh, recommendation agent search agent and the weather agent right so now uh, these are all the things we have and uh, let's see how this basically works and let's run our application agentic application and see that right let's do python main.py and uh, here you go ai travel agent langraph edition and origin it is asking me the origin i'll say blr where you want to go i'll say mumbai and it'll asking me the date 2025 in this format uh, 11 i want to go around 25th and end date 2025 11 i want to come back around 29th bedrooms one maximum price per night i want to have 100 dollars and minimum rating is four i'll just keep it the same way and then let's see how this works it is uh, going to our um, agentic system and trying to understand the user inputs and then trying to give us the proper results here you go uh, as you can see right um it came up with the uh, raw llm output the accommodations uh, name hotel uh, marine plaza mumbai india price is 95 dollars rating is 8.2 uh, bedroom one url is this and these are some of the uh, amazing uh, restaurants or hotels recommendations that it gave us regency in mumbai um, price is 72 uh, Comfort stay and dairy hotel Suba Palace, uh, and then now we get the flights data. Right, it is suggesting us the flights. Airline is Indigo, uh, origin um, Bangalore to Mumbai, uh, price one ten dollars, and URL is this goindigo.in. Yeah, 
Air India, Bangalore to Mumbai, price is $120. Yes, and uh, that's it. <clears throat> As you can see, weather also it is giving temperature ranges between 23.8 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius and top hotels it is suggesting us. Uh, these are the top hotels and also giving us the Google results. I mean, Google URL for that. And then these are the uh, top flights uh, it is suggesting and uh, that's it. I mean, it gave us the whole itinerary. I mean, what we wanted, um, according to us, we wanted to go to uh, Mumbai from Bangalore. I mean, we added our start date, end date. Uh, we wanted one bedroom a hotel maximum price was hundred dollars and then uh, and then the minimum rating at least four and it gave us with all the recommendations and also gave us the weather that's how you can basically build you know uh, multi agent agentic applications uh, using Langraph and uh, yeah I mean instead of uh, asking the chatbot LLM again and again the questions uh, this is how you can basically build you know. Uh, multi-agentic uh, applications using platforms like Langraph. Uh, as you saw, we used different uh, different agents here, and we also used uh, Langraph uh, to basically bind everything uh, and so that the agents can communicate with each other and come up with our uh, travel plan. And uh, as you can see, the top hotels, top flights, and also the weather, right? And now uh, let's go and see the um, how the um, how the um, uh, content is uh, has been uh, uh, stored in our database, right? Database um, travel AG, as you can see, uh, we created two tables. You remember accommodations and flights. And uh, if we go to accommodations sample data, all the uh, Thing is present here and if I ask the again same question it will directly give me the response now if I uh, add origin Bangalore and then the destination Mumbai it will suddenly give me the answer without hitting or open your API key so yeah uh, I think I hope uh, you understood how this works and uh, I'm gonna share this um, um, uh, repo code repo in the video description so that you can go and try uh, try with different uh, destinations and uh, different ratings and find um, how this uh, agent application basically works um, thanks guys thank you